so all right uh, so well first of all i would like to welcome you to the channel uh, i hope you are doing great so in this video we are going to uh, see how to implement the authentication in such a way so that user only i mean we, whenever user will uh, make three consecutive failed uh, attempt in, uh, to login attempt uh, on that moment we are going to lock the user account for a certain period of time so in this project i'm going to lock the user for five minutes since it is a demo project and and after that to be able to unlock the account we are going to implement the chrome job and uh, once the chrome job will be run in the background so once once the sub one i mean once the Lock time surfaced, surfaced, uh, that time Chrome jump will uh, automatically unlock the user. Okay, so this is this is it. So let me give you a simple overview how this project is going to work. Okay, let me run the project. And uh, and and uh, and to develop this project, we are going to use uh, Spring Boot. Uh, for database, uh, I'm going to use MySQL and uh, and uh, so to uh, to show the screen. We are going to I'm going to uh, use Timelit, which allows us to uh, add the template to the screen to application. Okay. Okay. So my application is running on uh, 1000 port. Uh, let me go into this. Uh, let me come on this one. Okay. Uh, so here I, I already registered myself to this uh, application. So here you can see currently my account is not locked, which is true. And my email, this one, which will be my username as well. And uh, account is unavailable, and there is a failure term is going to zero, is, is, is zero now. But uh, whenever I need failure term, is going to increase one by one. And the lock, lock term, whenever my account will, will get locked, uh, uh, is going to be, is going to be restore the time. Okay. And the name and password. Okay. So this is it. Let me show you how this project will work. Okay, uh, suppose uh, let me go to number two. Let me uh, start with wrong credential. Okay, uh, so uh, first of all, I tried one time. So let me see is it increased or not. The fail item. Okay, so now see you can inc uh, you can see my fail item increased to one. If I log in again with uh, with uh, correct credentials, then it's going to be zero, reset to zero. I believe. Okay, the login is done. Uh, if I remove this project, now you see the fail attempt is reset to zero. Okay. So when so after that, whenever I will make three consecutive uh, login attempt, I mean failed attempt. That time is going to lock my account. One time. Two time. Three time. So uh, here I can see a message that I have my account is locked since I exceeded the number of trials. Okay. Let me check into the database what is. Okay, now this is the my ID and the account got uh, locked. Uh, now you can see uh, is uh, non locked false demo enable and uh, fail item is to uh, lock them. You can see uh, uh, th at this time uh, my account get locked. Name okay, name password. So this is it. So uh, to be uh, unlock the account, I have been given to the Chrome job. Okay, so Chrome job will uh, will call the will call the, uh, call the unlock method on on every five minutes. Okay, 
so let's see let's wait for five minutes whether it's going to uh, unlock my account or not uh, automatically so before that i'm going to show you if you try with the correct credential you will get the same response since your account got locked for uh, for five minutes okay so let me wait so i'm going to uh, let me wait for five minutes after that i will try to log in again and before that i'm uh, okay so uh, okay this is it this is it this is it that i want to show you uh we'll start developing the project in the next video next part and uh, okay i'm going to pause for five minutes after that i'll show you again. so here yeah, i'm back again yeah. so let me see to my database whether it has uh it got the chrome job done it job or not let me deal with this project uh, I mean this record. So here you can see uh, the time has set first and the lock time get null, uh, updated to null and failure time also updated to null and also my account is uh, now active. Okay. Uh, so let me try to log in with this. Yes. See, so I can log in, okay. So this is this is the project that I I just want we are going to develop on the on the next video. So before that, I need to tell you the what are the things that we are going to need. Uh, let me generate the project from uh, Spring IO. So I'm going to use uh, uh, as an event for Java and uh, let's call it. Uh, This can and limit the uh, login. Okay, you can just um uh, for uh, JDK. I'm going to use it again. You can go with the one and the definitely that we're going, we're going to have to need. Spring React, uh, Spring Security, of course. Uh, for for database, I'm going to use my SQL driver. After that, uh, the book and uh, that tool for uh, for uh, restart the project automatically. Whenever I'm meeting any changes, Spring Protect tool. You can check out. Okay, and and, uh, and for templating, I'm going to use timely okay? And so it is a modern server Java template engine for both OF and standalone implements. So this is it. And then simply generate the project. So this is all about uh, them. I'm going to uh, update, uh, I mean, uh, install this project or import this project into the uh, IntelliJ. So we'll start developing the project from the next video, okay? So till then, bye guys. And subscribe to my channel for, uh, for more video like this, okay? Please do subscribe.